Welcome to Aaliyah's Reborn World. It's Lorna here, Aaliyah's mum, and we're going to be doing our Chat Tuesday video. So this is my second video. I did one video last week and I had a lot of really lovely positive comments, so I thought I'd come back this week and do another video. So thank you for all your support. Um, just before I get started on the video, um, Springtime Creations Nursery was asking about what Matthew got at the doll show. Matthew is Aaliyah's big brother, one of her brothers, and he bought some toys, um, some little um, bean toys at the doll show. And so I'll just show you quickly a clip of, um, of him showing what, what those are, and then we'll get started with this week's chat. And what did you get, Matthew? Um, I got these little toy thingies, and they sort of rattle in that. And this is my favourite one, because it's like a robotic guy and it has one mouth. Wow, look at them like all in there. one eye, I mean. Oh yeah, very and good. And I like the colour orange, like I like this colour in it. So did you, did you have fun? Yeah. What did you think about all the dolls and all the bears? Oh, pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. I hope you enjoyed that little snippet from Matthew. So just quickly before we start, I just quickly show you around the nursery. We've got little Melody here. She's still in her little outfit from last week's chat. And then here's our little Zoe. And then little Tilly, she's there in the, in the bouncer with her rabbit. And up here I've just changed our little Sarah Joy into the new dress that we bought at the doll show. And doesn't she look so pretty? And she's also in the basket um, that we got at the doll show. I think that little dress looks really cute on her. It fits her really well. And then we've got, of course, our Natalie, and I've changed her back into this um, suit. I think it's one of my favorite things on her. I think she just looks really lovely in that. And then little Jackson's had a change too. He's wearing some cool summer clothes because it is very warm here today. And poor little Ethan is still in his warm hoodie from a couple of weeks ago, so we're gonna have to change him next. And then up here we have our little Lola and Matthew and then we have Sophie down here she's probably due for a change too she's looking cute with her teddy she's our very first reborn that we got and then little Finn he's had a change too looking very summery and his his little onesie says mummy's little star he's looking cute too okay so I've come down here to the floor because we are going to change little Zoe today. Now the reason being, we have some big news. Little Zoe is actually up for sale. I'm going to sell her. Um, I've spoken to Aaliyah and at first she was a little bit iffy, but when I explained to her that in order to get new babies, we're gonna have to start selling some of our babies, she understood. So she's all on board now. For those of you who watched last week's Chat Tuesday video, I was talking a little bit about the fact that I usually prefer asleep babies to awake babies. Um, but you know what, this week since making that video, I've been watching a lot of your videos and a lot of YouTube videos and um, I have seen so many beautiful open-eyed babies. So they're really, really growing on me now. And I actually saw one just a few days ago on Facebook, I came across her and I really didn't think I was going to be able to get her um, because um, her artist had a list of ladies ahead of me that were very interested but um, somehow they all fell through and so I ended up being able to purchase her so I am paying her off I'm hoping to actually pay off pay her off this week so she may arrive next week um, but so one of the reasons I knew I have been wanting to sell a couple of the babies for a while just because I can't just keep getting more and more babies um, and not selling any babies. As you know, money doesn't grow on trees. So I thought since we're getting a, a brand new um, open-eyed baby, I thought that we would sell Zoe um, so that we will still, we'll, we won't be losing an open-eyed baby. We'll be, you know, we'll be losing one but gaining another, if that makes sense. And on top of that, Zoe is, um, you know, she her, she's, a really high quality baby so I'm hoping to get um, you know a good price for her um, to help out with um, with payments you know of, of the baby that I've just ordered and of future babies 
So um, that's the reason why we're selling her. She'll be greatly missed. We love having her in the nursery, but at the same time, um, there are some babies that we have our eye on or that we want to get for the future. So um, we do need to downsize a little bit. So I'm going to change little Zoe. Actually, I'm going to change her into the outfit that she arrived in. Um, so I'll just set up the camera now and we'll get started doing that. Okay, so I've set little Zoe up there on the floor. Um, now Zoe is the poppet sculpt. Um, she's a limited edition. She's, I'll just show you her um, certificate here of authenticity. So there's some pictures there. So she's the poppet sculpt by Adri Stoat. I'm not sure if I've said that properly. I'm not very good with pronunciation. So she's number 868 of 1000. And she was reborn by, I cannot for the life of me say this artist's name, I'm very sorry, but there it is down there. Um, and there's some of her other details there. She was born 2016, September. So just over a year ago now. Um, now somebody, I'm so sorry, I'm not sure who it was. I was going to go back on YouTube and look through the comments, but I just, I'm in a bit of a hurry because I need to get Aaliyah soon from preschool. Um, but somebody was asking me about Zoe's blue body, blue cloth body. So um, it was good timing that they asked because I was planning on doing this video with Zoe. Because yeah, so Zoe has a blue body. So we will see that in just a moment. We'll take your little headband off. Um, and you can see her blue body because um, whoever it was was saying that yeah they've never seen the blue body before and neither have we we've never seen a blue body since so I'm not sure where her, why her body is blue <laughs> but it's blue and it's a lovely color so there we go you can see her body there her cloth body I won't change her nappy today um, but yeah she's got a blue body and she's got lovely bluey green eyes I'll do a close-up of her of her face if you can see her those lovely eyes now she is painted so beautifully she's very high quality her artist has done such an amazing job her hair is rooted beautifully it probably needs a brush a good brush but she has lovely sort of blondy brown hair as you can see it's rooted really really nicely and yeah, her colouring, her complexion's amazing. You can see on her hands there, her little nails. And then the other hand. And then her her little feet and her legs. Look at the colouring and her little creases. The mottling's really nice. Yeah, her colouring is really, really good. So she will be up for sale. I haven't put her for sale yet. Um, but I will be doing that this week. Um, I'm going to put her onto a, there's a site here in Australia called Gumtree, which is a little bit like eBay, but there's no bidding. Um, so I'm going to put her on there. That's actually where I bought her from. Um, and so I paid for her, um, it was around $600. I can't remember the exact amount. Um, I looked up the, um, the original post and her owner was asking for six hundred and eighty dollars that's Australian I'm not sure what that is US um, and I know that I paid at least six hundred I may have even paid the full amount but it was at least six hundred so I'm going to be asking five hundred dollars for her excluding postage so postage will be on top of that um, so I know I've seen some babies you know take a while to sell so I'm not sure how long she will take to sell um, so we'll just have to wait and see because I have seen some beautiful babies online and on Facebook and on pages, doll pages and um, you know they're, they're lovely dolls but they do sit there sometimes for a long time so yeah we'll just have to wait and see how she goes um, so I've just put a little Carter's onesie on her there to go underneath her little outfit so here is, um, this is the little outfit that she arrived in, it's really cute. So it's got a little top that comes out there, we'll put on her, let's move her a little bit closer and see. So she really is a pretty little baby, 
and for those of you who have seen some of my other videos um, I think I did do a video where Aaliyah and I dressed Zoe as a boy and she actually looked really really cute as a boy too so um, I will put some photos on the end of this video I'll put a little slideshow of, of photos of Zoe and I'll make sure to include the ones of her as a boy um, so whoever she goes home to I will give the option of um, you know if they would like her as a boy I will send her with um, boy clothes or if they like I can send her with some of each because <laughs> like some people might like to um, change change their babies around I know I like to do that sometimes just for fun you know change them from a boy to a girl or vice versa so Poppet is the first baby that Aaliyah and I will be selling we will be selling one or two others um, but we haven't decided yet on which babies they will be um, and we are getting some new babies like I said we've got one coming hopefully next week and then we have some very exciting news which I will reveal in an upcoming video about a baby that will be coming probably next year. But that is, um, we're very excited about that one. Well, actually, I'm very excited about that one. Aaliyah doesn't know yet. I'm thinking of perhaps making that one a surprise for her and not telling her anything about it until it arrives. Um, yeah. So she's looking very cute in her little outfit. Now she came with the, in this outfit with a bright purple headband, but I found a pink one that might match a little bit better. So I'm going to put that on her. So like I said, she's the first baby that we're selling. So I've never done a box packaging before. I've never packed up a baby to sell for a box opening. So. I'm really excited about that actually. I, I love giving and I love, um, so I will, I'm sure, go very overboard and she'll come with a beautiful box opening, lots of goodies and clothes and bits and pieces. Oh, there we go. I think that little headband does match quite well, the little outfit. So there she is, all dressed and looking cute. And then um, once um, I have put her um, I'll probably put her up on Facebook for sale and on, on Gumtree and then um, once she is sold I will um, do a, I'll probably do her box packing, um, I might do a video of that as well. So thank you so much to everybody for watching, I hope you've enjoyed the video, I think little Zoe's looking really cute and I, I hope that um, she goes to somebody who loves her as much as we have, um, I'm sure she will. And um, thanks again for watching and I really appreciate everybody's comments and support um, in the videos. So yeah, we really appreciate everything. So thank you and we'll see you in the next video. Bye. So I've just looked um, through YouTube and it was actually Springtime Creations Nursery that I was asking about Zoe's blue body as well. So thank you for asking and I hope that... Um, well, I didn't really answer any of the questions. I don't know why she has a blue body or where it came from. <laughs> um, but yeah, we just know that it's blue. And we haven't seen one like it since. So if anybody else has has seen a blue body or knows anything about why she might have a blue body, uh, feel free to comment below. <laughs> Thank you. Bye.